Hey Fritz. Hey Dad. How you doing? Good. What are we gonna do? Play X plane. We're gonna play some X plane. So we're gonna do our first flight lesson, Fritz, mm -hmm. for our friends on the internet. And we are making these into very small, manageable units, right? Mm -hmm. And we decided what is the easiest thing to fly in X plane? The easiest thing to do. Turns. Turning. So what we're gonna work on today is we're gonna work on the roll. Right? Mm -hmm. So the roll is doing this. Right? Mm -hmm. Right? So what we are going to do is we're going to learn how to roll the plane with the things called the ailerons that are on the sides, mm -hmm. right? And we're going to try to keep the plane level, right? Mm -hmm. Not like this and not like this. We're going to try to keep it level and we're going to use, learn how to use the one instrument to help us with that. Do you remember what that's called? The artificial horizon. Remember that thing with the ball? The little ball yeah. and it shows you how level you are. So that's our first lesson for today, right Fritz? Mm -hmm. Alright, so ready to go? Yep. Ready to go do it? Well, let's go, come on! Let's go! Alright, so we turned on X-Plane and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the demo area that everybody has. It's KSEA. And we are going to pick um, this plane, right? The Cessna. The one that we downloaded. Mm -hmm. So we downloaded it, that Cessna, and it's Dad, this guy. Dad, yeah. Dad, your, if you go to X Plane Demo, it shows you every single plane it has. Oh, uh, yeah. So that's it, and then we're going to pick uh, Day and Clear. And for everything right now, we're going to be picking that, so no like extra win, right? All right. I want to say, if I had a plane, Floggy. Floggy? Floggy. Froggy? Was it Froggy? Even even on the um, storm and night. The too. storm and night. Okay, so we've uh, we got to the area, right? And yep. what we're going to do is we're gonna come up here to location because we're on the ground and we haven't learned how to take off yet. You you haven't done a really good takeoff yet, right? Not but not, we still, not but quite we yet. Still but can't we still do a takeoff? Well, of course we can still do a takeoff. But this is we're doing our video of how to fly first. All right, so what we're going to do is we are going to put us up at, let's say, 5,000 feet. What do you think? 5,000 feet? Mm -hmm. Three, four, five, and 100 knots. All right, that'll get us going. Why can't I do, like, 200? Uh, because the plane only goes up to that. All right, so I've adjusted the throttle just kind of medium. All right, so for this lesson, Fritz, we're not concerned with our, our height and the altitude at all, right? So I click this and I'm gonna be in the 3D view. All right, and let me zoom in. There are two ways that we know that we're flying level, Fritz. Mm -hmm. Two ways. The first way is looking out the window. So let's just look out the window right now, okay? And this isn't Am good. I turning? Yeah, you're turning. I'm turning. Am I level? I'm not level, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm not level there. All right, so I'm going to turn left and, t and tell me when you think I'm level. Level. Like, like so? Mm -hmm. All right, well, let's check it with the instrument. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Do you think that's level? So that's one way we can we can look out the window and we can we can find level. And what we're looking at here is the horizon. Do you know what the horizon is, Fritz? Yes. What's the horizon? It's where the where the air meets the ground. The air meets the ground. That's the straight line, right? Mm -hmm. So it's really hard to see that though if you're over water, right? Mm -hmm. Like say like look at that water right there. Didn't it look like the sky? Yeah. It so if we were over water right now, it'd be really tough to find out, like, especially if there were clouds, it'd be really tough to find out where that that point is, right? So partly why is we have this little gadget right here called the artificial horizon. That's this that's this guy, right? I'm, gonna, I'm zooming into it, all right? And I'm just gonna be flying with this now. And this is level. Right? Mm -hmm. When this arrow, whoop, I keep clicking with the mouse. Let me zoom back in. So when this arrow right here is our plane, and when that gets to this, that means we're level. So are we level right now? Yeah. No. 
No? Which way do I need to go? To the right? Mm -hmm. you need to go to the right? Okay, am I level now? Yep. Getting there? Okay. And this, these little tick marks on here are degrees. This is 10 degrees, 20 degrees, 30 degrees. Right? Yeah, this is, I think this is a 60, and this is a 90, down right there. So if I told you, Fritz, to execute a 30 degree left turn, where, where do I go? Point, point to the mouse to tell me where, where I would put that, that arrow. A 30 degree left turn, right there? Okay, so did I do that right now? And I'm not concerned about, in this lesson, we're not concerned about dropping altitude or anything like that. If we crash the plane, just restart it. All right, so 30 degree left turn. Now tell me what kind of turn you want me to do now. Th that one? Mm -hmm. What is that? Uh, 20. 20 degree left turn. Okay. And let's look up at the sky and see what it looks like. Look, see? So I'm going to try to, I, I'm glancing at the horizon and at that instrument at the same time now, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So let's see. If I said we were going to do a 90 degree right turn, where would we be going? That one? Mm -hmm. uh, that's pretty whack. You would never do that, right? No, I should never do that. Ah, I'm going to crash the plane. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't do that in real life, right? I think I can hear the water breaker. Um, water vapor. Water vapor on it. Alright, so... We're, drop, we're, um, we're dropping uh, engine speed. Well, but that's okay, because... Remember, we're not, we're not concerned about that right now. In another lesson, we're going to be working on turning and maintaining your altitude at the same time. We haven't even got to tell what altitude is. That's the next video. Alright? Mm -hmm. Right now, we're just doing turns. Okay, so I am at zero, all right? Mm -hmm. So you know what I'm using to do the turns? What? I'm just doing the left and right mm -hmm. with the roll, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. That's the only thing we're working on in this one. All right, so you're, are, you ready to, are you ready to practice? Mm -hmm. All right, now again. Let's crash this thing so I so we can go. Don't, don't worry about, about crashing it on this this is we found this to be the easiest thing to learn on to do the part, artificial this horizon part is the, um, plane and all that so, all right. so we can talk about the stuff so we paused right we mm -hmm. found this to be the easiest thing to do right mm -hmm. all right so you ready to take over i'm going to i'm going to walk over here and i'm going to give you a test mm -hmm. okay all right fritz i want you to execute a 20 degree right turn. Right. 20 degree right turn. Hey, good job. You want to check and see what it looks like out the window? Mm -hmm. Can you do it? Oops. Cool. All right, now do me a 10 degree left turn. Alrighty, I think we got this, right? Isn't this easy? This this might be silly, but this is this is actually a skill because we need to be able to uh, do precise turns. All right, now now put the plane level. Can you make the wings level? Zero degrees, and hold it at zero degrees. Alrighty. Zero degrees. All right, we're going to work on altitude and pitch in the next video. Ready to do the next video? Mm -hmm. All right, so everybody, this is it for this video. And we learn, let's recap what we learned. We learned today how to turn, how to turn the plane. We learned what the artificial horizon is. Well, what the I'm gonna do an tick marks Whee! mean. We learn what the ailerons do. They roll the plane, and we learn how to roll. Right, Fritz? See you later. Bye. <laughs> ah.